Hello guys, my name is Asmarant, and this is my thoughts on the game, which was the 49ers at Lions, uh, week one. Um, I was going to live stream the uh, the Ravens and Raiders, which is playing now. It's 2 o'clock, so in our UK time it would be 1.20 to play, but I missed it. I got in uh, work home late, but I didn't do my thoughts on the game. Um, so, I'm going to give my thoughts and everything on uh, some of the uh, individual people, but um, yeah, overall the team itself... So, uh, yeah, um, let's get into it. Okay, so, Jason Ferent. Um, gutted. Absolutely gutted. I thought he played a, a really good game. Um, but I don't understand why. Bearing in mind this guy's got history of injuries. Why they made him play the Lions. <sighs> he could have used Lenore. Uh, Mosley. Josh Norman. He could have used individual people for that play. Um, but no, they thought, ah, oh, he can do it. We'll have no problems. And my God, were they wrong. And I've just found out news now as well on the um, the injury list that's just coming for every single team. I've just found out as well, uh, San Francisco 49ers coach Shanahan announced that running back Raheem Mostert, uh, knee, will be placed on injury reserved and could return in about eight weeks. Shanahan also confirmed that cornerback Jason Varent ACL, which is confirmed he's torn his ACL, we missed the rest of the season. So he ain't playing at all. Um, linebacker Dre Kinglaw, uh, groin injury is considered day to day. Great. So, not only does it get worse, that we've got. Is it Drake in law? No, I got it wrong. Drake, Drake, Drake King law ain't doing it. It's another bloke. And I think they've hired someone. One minute. Uh, the 49 sign CB Drake. Kirkpatrick, um, it says here, uh, yep, the 49ers have signed uh, Drake uh, Patrick. Um, he's 31 years of age, he played with the Sins and that he Bengals after joining the uh, uh, Cardinals at 2020 campaign. He played 14 games with 11 starts last year, so that's him. Um, 14 games, 11 starts. Decent, but against the Eagles, yeah, you need something for the Eagles. They were considering pitting uh, Richard Sherman on. Yep, they were considering pitting Sherman on um, as uh, an option, maybe, to bring him back. I mean, a lot of people were uh, are happy, and a lot of people are not happy, but that's it, you know. And now you've signed a cornerback, Fitzpatrick. Um, it might do well, it might not. We'll find out against the Eagles. Eagles defence ain't too bad. I know week one, they've had a good game. Defence is not too bad. Their offence is really is, is, is really good. So, yeah, hopefully that uh, will be great on week two. Um, but, yeah, Jason Ferent, why put him up against the Lions? A lot of people say Goff. Uh, uh, quarterback for Lions A lot of people say ah, it's, it's, it's Goff It's only Detroit Lions so He'll be fine Yeah but it's Goff Like his passing Attack was amazing And as you saw On the fourth quarter The Lions were catching up quick They weren't stupid They caught up quick Got the touchdown The field Like the onside kick as well Kittle you know, miss that opportunity and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So lines weren't thick. Lines were very strong through this game, and they did really well. I think the lines, even though they lost, they did really well against us in the fourth quarter. But why put Jason Front on against the lines? I would have put him on against the lines. Eagles, maybe. Packers, yes. Seahawks, yes. Cardinals, yes. But not the Lions. But there you go. Um, hope, uh, hope Jason Ferent. Sadly, has a nice season. Just resting it up. I mean, 
gutted as him. We ain't got him. He's out the rest of the season, but I hope he gets better. And when we've got him next year, hopefully they treat him right. Get him out there right for the games. And, um, yeah, I wish him all the best. Let's move on to the next one. So, this guy, Jimmy Garoppolo. What can we say about Jimmy Garoppolo? Well, let's have a think. Uh, day one of training camp, Carl Shanahan said, he looks great, healthiest I've ever seen. He looks the best played great I've ever seen. And so many people that went down there to watch him, like the press, um, and everything else, you know, who are um, who had a 49ers press and stuff like that, was saying, um, yeah, he ain't changed a bit. Did a decent few short passes, bullet passes, medium-sized passes, long hours passes. Yeah, did did all right. Some were tackled away, some were intercepted. He got sacked, he's got this, and I'm thinking, oh, shit, we've got the same Jimmy G from last year. Sorry, Jimmy, I was wrong. Um, he played brilliantly. And we can all moan about the first snap when it fumbled. Okay. Fine. Have a pop. Say this, say that. First snap, he fumbled. But, look what they've done after the first snap. They played really well. Jimmy G, really well. So what, he fumbled the first play. For that, the whole tie game. Man, and I was shocked. He played really, really well. So fair play to him. Um, and, but, but, you know, even commentators from, I don't know, Good Morning America or Colin Hurd and, you know, you know, like all these commentators and pundits and all these guys saying on there, on the sideline and everything, you know, he ain't going to do well. That Jimmy G is 20, the year 2020 Jimmy G. He's going to fail. I don't think it's going to work. Proved you wrong. They proved... He proved all of them wrong. Week one, he did really well. Because you've got to take and consider... This is... You know, like the predictions. I did a predictions video. So check my channel out for that. You predict... You predict on these games. And it's all going to be wrong anyway. You don't know. You really don't know. 49ers could get to a wild card could get to a playoffs you don't know but I wouldn't predict myself that I take every game step by step every game is a step by step win or loss you have to analyse it you have to look at it and then I'll give you like my opinions and so on like, um, and everyone else with their own opinions that game was phenomenal but the fourth quarter it was shady. Same as the first quarter, really. The first quarter, the first, I don't know, six minutes, seven minutes was shady. But we pulled out. And we did well in the first game. Because week one of the game, you want to do, you, you want to be number, you want to be, you have, you want one and oh. And we got one and oh. So, yeah, Jimmy G played phenomenal as a quarterback. Fair play. Well done to him. Um, I can't wait to see him against the Eagles. Hope he does well against the Eagles. But, yeah, that game was brilliant. Well done him. Right. Done with Jimmy G. Let's get our QB2 out. Okay, so. Trey Lance. What do we say? Think about how Trey Lance play. Um, He looks good. Looks good in a red shirt. In a red jersey. He looks really, really well. And. Played. 50-50. So he's. Touchdown passes were very good. He did a good touchdown pass. He passed very well. Did a decent touchdown pass. That was very good. Uh, his pass play was, re you know, really well. Which is what you want. Running play. Didn't work out, did it? Like, he, like they read everything that he, like he was going to do easy. But I expected something not to go right for Trey Lance. Or yet alone a quarterback itself. Because Jimmy G, he played well. 
But sometimes he had the odd mistake here and there. But he played really, really, really well for someone that we all thought was going to fail. Trey Lance, he played 50-50 for me. His pass play was great. His running, his running was was terrible. He ran a few himself. But there you go. That's just that. Um, I didn't think he played more than I think he should. Because at the end of the day, that's, you know, he didn't get enough reps, I think, even in training. And bearing in mind, Kyle Shanahan has traded number three. He, he traded up to number three to get Trey Lance. Not Matt Jones, not Justin Fields, not this person, not that person, not Zach Wilson, not Lawrence and whatever. He traded for ju- um, he traded for Trey Lance. So what does that tell you? Well, right, if you trade for a rookie quarterback, knowing full well this guy next is going to be the face of the franchise, the face of the 49ers, that will be your QB1. Why didn't you give him enough playtime? You could have done... Jimmy does uh, quarter one. Lance could do quarter two. Lance could do quarter three. End it off with Jimmy G in the fourth. I understand you can... They've got that quarterback system where you can swap and turn, swap and turn. Swap and turn what? You didn't give enough to trade Lance. And yet Shanahan traded up. John Lynch, you traded up. And this is him. Had a few decent snaps. Running didn't work, but pass was great. But that's it. Get Trey Lance on there more. Especially against the Eagles, that'd be brilliant. Get Trey on there more. Overall, he did all right. But he weren't enough for me. And I think Benny did enough, because I think he could do really well. You know, the 20 old youngster can do more. Right? I'll move on to the next one. Okay, so this is a short one, but Eli Mitchell, what do I think of him and like how he did? Well, he played phenomenal. Quick on his feet. It was very, very fast. Quick on his feet. Very aggressive. You know, against the Lions, pushed against the players. Fair play. Did really, really, really well. Uh, phenomenal, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think he did better than Hasty a little bit. He got more decent time on him than he did with Hasty, which is fine, because you want to pick your, you know, your um, your trust into someone. Hasty and Mitchell are it, but it was like they had more faith in Mitchell than they did Hasty, because. Mitchell did a really, really good. Hasty, he was good, but not great. That's why I think the trust was there more on him than it was him because he he pumped it. That's why he got really much to say on Hasty. But Hasty would probably do better with the Eagles, same with Mitchell. But we'll find out. But yeah, um, very fast, very good, very aggressive. Played ahead of a game, so well done to him. Um, now the next one. Overall, what did I think of the Lions? Um, I thought we'll have a decent win, um, but not as much as everyone thought with the chat. A lot of people thought we'll be like a 30-something can know, 30-something can six, a 40-something and 10. You know, that's why I don't predict, because it was nowhere near, because we were leading away brilliantly, really, really well, and I thought, well, here again at my line, so... Not going to catch up this time soon. Jason Ferenc gets injured. Straight after that, touchdowns come out. Extra points. Onside kick. Kittle messed that up. Caught on that. You know, and the 49ers at the ball. Debo Samuel's got it. Run in the middle, and I think. The Lions defense, is it Flowers or some of that? Gets, I don't know, he's got the ball, gets it out of his hands, and it goes straight back to the Lions. The Lions pushed and pushed and pushed and attacked and attacked. That's how a team should be. That's how a team should be. 
regardless. That's how it should be. And I think they did phenomenal. Well done to the Lions. Yep, they lost. And yep, I'm not praising the Lions, you know. I'm not, I'm a 49ers man all the way through. But, you know, 41 and 33, you've got to be having a laugh. We were, we were way storming ahead. And they came back. And they played really well in the fourth quarter. But it's mental how one guy, like I said, Jason Friend gets injured. And then your whole game just changes. One person can change your whole game. But they never stopped. They kept pushing. And they did. They pushed really well. Um, but it was a 49ers win at the end of the day. Um, but one of the lines for the pushing for the attack. Because we were on their feet then. Like, as soon as they come back, we were on our toes. And yet, everyone has these predicaments that, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fort Nine's are good contenders for the playoffs. For the Super Bowl. We're good contenders. After that, we might have 17 weeks. Or 16 now. Are you sure? Well, we'll find out. Um, yeah, that's it on that. Overall, the game. Offense, great. Defense. After the fourth quarter, to be fair, they were great. We've got the game. We got the win. You want to go out on a high in your first week, and you did. 41 and 32, 41 and 33, whatever. We did it. Um, but we need to keep pushing. Now that we've got a few injured players, I don't care who they bring in, what they've got to do. We have to win the next game as we as we possibly can. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for the 42 subscribers as well. Um, very humble and fortunate that you guys subscribed. Leave a comment to what you think about this video on the comments that I've made. And um, yeah, guys, I'll be live streaming uh, 49ers at Eagles. I'll be streaming that as well Sunday. So don't miss that. Um, other than that, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.